uh, through downloads of uh, com minor computer programs. And I'm, I do not have internet access where I live. I have to use the school, university computers at school and in the classroom and we have limited time and they're always being monitored and they don't allow downloads so I have to come up with a way that I can download it on another system and have the system mobile to hook up into the university system without affecting anything else. So that's why there's a delay and um, uh, in recent light of what's going on in Japan and my missing friends and the horrors that that I see on a daily basis and hear of and have to deal with. I didn't feel right to put a cartoon out right now, so um, this show is basic, just basic information about um, regarding the problems of trying to hook up with the right person and why do you fail all the time and your friends and other people seem to be successful. So this is the next video. Why is it so hard for me to hook up and my friends and other people that I know, it is so damn easy for them? Explained here. Now the question should come up that um, if I'm such a big expert on romance and relationships and how to acquire them, why am I still single? Well, it's because there are three different types of romantic situations. There's those who aren't interested at all and don't really make any effort at all, although they could fall in love and be with somebody there just isn't any effort. That's one type. The second type is the person who will take the first guy or girl that smiles in their direction and uh, they're in a relationship. Which explains why some people are able to hook up just like that and go from one relationship to another while others, like myself, have these great difficulties. And I fit into the third care I fit into the third care category which is the fussy one because I've decided that not only um, does she have to be of childbearing age um, between I say 27 and 30, 31 but she must also be of Japanese descent Chinese descent um, Korean or Vietnamese or even uh, possibly Filipino and I would settle for no one else based upon my you know what traits I desire that's the extreme level of fussiness in a relationship and that is why one of the reasons why I'm uh, still single at this point is because um, I've narrowed it down so much now, people who narrow their relationships down to find points like I did are the most likely to be in a happy, stable, long-lasting relationship or marriage, depending if you're into being, going through the marriage ceremony. We're not likely to divorce anytime soon because we value the relationship that we work so hard to form and especially find. But for those who can hook up with anyone who smiles their way, 
or talks to them and form a relationship like that, these are the people that end up in the divorce courts or end up getting involved with someone who they're just not compatible at all and they completely ignore all the signs and warnings and the signs of incompatibility and they go straight into the relationship and it turns into a complete disaster because the two people were never meant to be together. Um, they just did not fit each other. There was nothing in common. But because she or he smiled in their direction, they went with them and developed a relationship like that. And this, these relationships could last weeks, months, maybe a couple of years, maybe three years, but they all die because the person puts no effort into finding the right person that is for them. Uh, the fussy relationship. There is a fourth category which isn't very um, popular these days which is arranged marriage between uh, the family of one individual and the family of another individual make an arranged marriage deal and bring the man and woman together. These can also end in extreme disasters even to the point in many cases where the woman is murdered by her husband. But um, that's why. That's why I'm still single because uh, I fit into the third category of the fuss budget. The person who's looking for the ideal and will settle for nothing less than. So if you see, if you're like me and you see your friends or, or people around you hooking up, immediately, one after the other, one after the other. It's because they're just settling. They'll take the first happy face that looks in their direction and they will pay the price for it because they don't sit down and think things through or examine, is this person, am I compatible with this person? Should I be with this person? You need to study the situation. You need to be compatible to have a long-lasting, fulfilling relationship with someone if you're a settler, then, you know, that's fine if that's what you like. Sometimes they do work out. It's not, too, um, I think, it's somewhere around 70% um, divorce rate for that sort of situation. And it may even take decades for, it accum for the problems accumulate into a divorce. But, you know, it's eventually, if you're in a situation and find yourself in a situation with someone that you're not compatible with, it's going to collapse eventually.